I am scented foam, a traveler of the fragrant space time. Today, I decided to visit the realm of easy wear summer scents. I have come to the conclusion that I don't always need a fragrance to be unique or characteristic, especially during the warmer seasons like the summer in my country, when fragrances can feel a bit too much. Many times I need an easy scent that is not complicated and just smells good. Of course, the special attribute of fragrances to highlight each one's uniqueness never fails to show its presence. And as the perfume blends with your personal complexion, the result will always be unique. The fragrances I will discuss about today gather the following characteristics. They are not complicated or particular. They are easy grabs, meaning you don't have to overthink before wearing them. They can be chosen whenever you have trouble choosing which perfume to wear, and most probably they won't bother anyone around you. Enter this easy breezy smooth fragrant path along with me, and of course, enjoy. wear summer scent which is a minimal fruity beauty is Pear Ink by Juliette Hassegan. This has very quickly become a must in my summer collection. This is the second bottle I have used. It is an ambroxan synthetic musky scent with a touch of pear freshness and joy. Synthetic may sound appalling to you, but it's meant this time in the best way possible, creating a very contemporary and modern fragrant sensation. It is slightly woody in the background, in a Juliette has a gun way. If you have tried fragrances like Not A Perfume or Not A Perfume Superdose, you will understand the woody character I'm talking about. And it has a wonderfully sparkly character, apparently due to the juicy pear, which always offers to fragrances such a vibrant, fruity sensation. This fragrance features the note of ombretolide or ombretolide, I'm not sure about the accent, whose scent profile is musky, ombrette seed like, warm, powerful, and fruity. And I think it blends beautifully with the juicy, fruity pear. This perfume brings me images of light games on the surface of a summer sea. It is so radiant, so cheerful, and very, very summery. People perceive this perfume with joy. I don't think it could ever bother anyone around you. On the contrary, it brings a smile on people's faces. I spray it liberally on my clothes and on my skin to create a luscious scent bubble around me. The heat really complements and accentuates the beautiful, invigorating, fruity, fresh facets of this fragrance. So this was Pairing by Juliette Hasegan. Proceeding to another scent that I tend to grab without overthinking it each summer. And this is Dylan Blue by Versace. This is the Eau de Parfum version. I really love the bottle, this royal blue color. It's very pretty. This is a smooth and crisp fruity floral perfume with a very interesting fresh out of the shower character. It features several flower notes, some of them really impressive, like the forget-me-not flower. I have not come across this note very often, which is a fantasy note that offers green, fresh aspects to fragrance. But the main floral accord I get from this perfume is a clean and somehow green rose accord along with a soapy lily of the valley vibe. The fruits, the fruits are adding a very interesting playfulness to the more austere vibe of the floral notes. Offering to the perfume a shampoo quality, which is very satisfying for the wearer during the warm weather. Among the fruits, it has blackcurrant, peach, and apple. Apple is the main player, which offers a very crisp and frisky character to the perfume. This fragrance is perfect, I think, for any occasion, and also very appropriate for professional events. My perception of this fragrance is somehow indefinable. It 
offers to me a generic smelling good and clean sensation, which is exactly the attribute that makes it a scent that you don't have to think a lot before wearing because you know it will please you and others around you very easily with its non-particular character and non-elaborate details. Still in Blue by Versace. There is another Versace fragrance in this list and this is Versens or Versens. I'm not sure about the Italian accent. This is a pretty citrus green and aromatic perfume that immediately awakens your senses and clears your mind. With first spray, I get a vibrant minty citrus kick. It really offers an invigorating and brisk sensation that is so much needed during a warm summer where your body rhythm gets slower to cope with the heat. The flower notes are very discreet. There is a beautiful, delicate and ethereal jasmine accord that colors the citrus brightness. The woods in the background complete the aromatic journey with an enchanted olive tree note that almost offers a savory greenness. Again, it's uncomplicated, very fresh and effortless. You spray it for an energetic kick to your senses and respray whenever you want to revive the sensation. It also has a really good longevity for a fresh, a citrus fresh perfume. It lasts on my skin for around six hours, which is really impressive. I have used this quantity in three weeks. Uh, sadly, the Versace badge has come off and I think I'm going to use a bigger bottle when this is finished. This is a beautiful, fresh and effortless citrus fragrance, Versons by Versace. to a plusher easy wear scent and this is Zen by Shiseido. This is a bit more complex, more complicated than the fragrances I mentioned before. It is still very easily worn because of its smooth edges and its gentle and calm attitude. My first impression is that of a very well-balanced fruity floral with a citrus touch and a relaxing patchouli undertone. I can definitely detect the pineapple note with its uh, sour sweetness, embraced by a very light and airy wildflower accord, colored by a shady patchouli. To my nose, it almost leans aquatic. I think there's lotus flower inside. It has this bubbly, effervescent, almost fizzy quality and it's very, very bright. It's a happy scent, it makes me smile. It's almost solar. It brings me the sensation of standing underneath the morning sun with eyes closed, absorbing all its beneficial properties. I don't know if I'm influenced by the name Zen, but whenever I get a whiff of this scent, I somehow feel more peaceful as its notes are so harmoniously blended and smooth. This is a beautiful, sensual, plush, and delicate, easy wear scent. Zen by Shiseido. Petit Matin by MFK is another easy wear scent, given that you enjoy lemon, lavender, and musk. This perfume reminds me of a classic cologne. It's the perfect fragrance when you want to feel refreshed and smell clean and classy. The citrus qualities in this fragrance are very sweet. It almost feels like a fresh lemon juice with sugar added. While the lavender adds a herbal and aromatic vibe, the ambroxan also does its wonders. You can definitely get an ambery, dry, musky base underneath the herbal citrus quality that gives it longer, bigger lifespan and projection and helps it mellow, become one with your skin. It also reminds me of some non-alcoholic fragrances that are addressed to babies, which are very pure, delicate and gentle for the skin. It has a very, very innocent character. When you don't want to smell something extremely particular, when 
you are in the need of a fragrance to refresh yourself and feel clean and invigorated, just grab Petit Matin by MFK, which offers all these aspects in the best quality possible. Purity and innocence with Petit Matin by MFK. Last but not least, a powdery leaning easy wear scent. And this is J by Costume National. This perfume has very interesting unique notes that result to a beautiful unisex perfume with soapy and powdery nuances and a woody background. The rice, it, this perfume has rice inside with its nutty, earthy aspects, offers to this perfume an elusive coziness. It feels familiar and calming at the same time. I don't get any intense floral accords, maybe a bit of the neroli flower and the orange flower offering a discreet citric sweetness to the blend. My olfactive perception is that of cashmere, woods and rice. It's a very airy and minimal perfume. It's somehow neutral and genderless, which again offers the easy wear attribute to the fragrance. The longevity is very good. It's around five hours on my skin and it projects beautifully, creating a very fresh out of the shower bubble around you. Our trip to this easy breezy fragrant world has come to an end. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at my non-complex perfume list. I will see you again in my next video. Until then, fill your days with wonder and happiness. Feel carefree and loved. A breezy kiss and a fragrant hug to you.